We are in the kitchen again with Bridget Lowry from 416 Cuisine. She makes her own pastas, breadsticks, cookies, well, all sorts of things. Thank and you. Today, yes. you went shopping for us at the farmer's market on I Saturday, did. and what did you find? Um, I found some great late harvest vegetables. I picked up an acorn squash, an eggplant. Um, in the previous segment, we did something with cucumbers and mushrooms. Yeah, it looks like this. It's right here. And, and that was no cook, no bake. Super easy. Super easy. So this is going to be a meatless Monday meal, and it highlights uh, my newest product, which is ravioli. And look at how big these raviolis are. That's how my family makes oh, them. Oh, I love your family. I considered making them smaller, but I thought, no, this is, this is what I've it. been taught. Why mess with a good thing? So these are four cheese ravioli. Okay. It's um, ricotta, parmesan, romano, and asiago. And so we can buy these from you? Absolutely. Okay. They're at the farmer's market Saturday mornings through October. Um, and then they're in an herb pasta, so they're very, very mm, flavorful. Okay. And these are obviously already boiled. They just take minutes. And I'm just going to stack this up. That's what a Napoleon is. And this is a squash? This is an acorn squash. And this is eggplant. I cut it lengthwise and cooked it, got it some real caramelization. Eggplant can get kind of spongy, so if you can take some time, give it a little crispness, it'll, it'll be worth okay. it. Okay. Do you have to squeeze any of the... Do water out you of it? You can, you can. I cut these so so thin that I, that didn't, I didn't have to. really have okay. to, but yes, you definitely can. And just use a very little butter or olive oil okay. um, because it does just absorb everything and it just tastes like an oily sponge otherwise. Okay. So, so now you've layered. So all I've done was layer, and you could absolutely do this on a baking sheet. I have these cute little vintage ramekins, so I wanted to use them, but you could just do it all on a, on a layer sheet. Okay. And then we're and just going to top it. Do you want me to do that? Local cheese, absolutely. This is fresh mozzarella cheese. Again, you can find it at the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a meatless Monday recipe, as I mentioned, but there are even Still fresh like meats great at the farmer's market. Great comfort food, though, too. Oh, it definitely you know? is. It's warm and cozy. Do I need to just put all of it on there? Mm, I don't think too much cheese is No, but really there is a little anything, extra. So there you go. If you need to do that, that's Then fine. what do we do with that? So then we're going to pop this under the broiler. Okay. And then because it's already cooked right it's already cooked right you boiled the ravioli pop it under the broiler and it just took minutes and yes. look it's so golden on top watch it carefully and it's nice and golden brown um while i dig into that mm -hmm. if you don't mind because i would like to taste it I can you to. talk about how you prepared your squash absolutely i'll switch, I'll switch with you. You. Mm -hmm. so an acorn squash they look very big and they I personally thought that they looked intimidating the first time I started using them but I'm with you all you have to do is cut the top off I laid it on its side and I cut this off okay so then you have a nice flat sturdy base smart use your best knife it will be a little bit of work there's a reason why I didn't do it on the air <laughs> you're not extremely attractive while you're working it but it, it can be done just go slowly use a very good knife and then you'll have two halves that look like this, and if you use um, a spoon, a serving spoon, mm. it makes quicker work of it. You just scoop everything right out, and then you have this. Mm -mm -mm. And then again, use that base to slice it. The squash it's in here with it. this ravioli is amazing. Thank it's a you. great recipe. She shared the recipe with us. It's online, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. She's also on Facebook. Facebook and Twitter. On Twitter. At, uh, four six, at 416 Cuisine. Give her a follow. She wants to chat with you. <laughs> Thanks, Bridget. Oh, you send you good recipes. That's right. Thank we'll you. We'll be right back.